What is up my friends and today I'm going to show you how to change a glow plugs on Mitsubishi Delica, do it properly, how to remove them not breaking, how to test glow plugs, how to install the new ones and enjoy easy cold start. And first we need to remove the intercooler, two hoses there, undo those ones, there's a few 10 millimeters bolts, undo those ones as well, electrical connector on the back, Disconnect that guy and there yeah, I will speed it up the process you can watch it's pretty much straightforward and go and subscribe to the channel and it will be very appreciated and you can find a lots more interesting educational videos how to maintain your Delica or some other interesting car videos okay if you have any questions as down in this comment section below. We need to get access to those two 10 millimeter bolts. For that, remove the hose to the intercooler, pull it out. Now we can e easily remove those two 10 millimeter bolts, undo those ones. And I always recommend you to put the fasteners back in their original position, then you don't need to look for them and you won't ever miss them as well. Okay, our ultra cooler is ready to go out. Only two electrical connectors need to be disconnected. Let's go and disconnect them. Flip it over. Those connectors are for electrical motor and remove your intercooler okay because our vehicle will need to stay overnight make sure no mice or any rodents will get into the pipes just put a rag there like that and same thing on another end because they might get in. Intercooler removed and there is a glow plugs. One, two, three, four. We have access. Now we can start working and moving forward. As you can see on top of the engine build up a lot of dirt, grease, all that sand and all that residue. We need to clean it up and make sure engine is clean. That's an important part of the glow plugs process. You need to clean the engine. Okay, next thing, we'll spray the penetrating oil and let the oil to do the job and leave the engine overnight. And then tomorrow we'll get back and break them loose. Spray a good amount of that penetrating oil lubricant, make sure it's covered and that will make the big game change like so see i sprayed a good amount and will let it sit for 12 hours or you can leave it for long and come back and spray it depends how bad is your situation is you don't want to blow plug break inside your cylinder head that's gonna be a bad day okay it's night i'm going home and we'll get back tomorrow here we go, daylight again, and we are continue. As you can see, they are nice and soaky. All that penetrating oil, I hope, did a good job. And as you can see, still lots and lots of grease and sand, a little, little rock. Yeah, there's a rock which you definitely need to clean up. See this guy? This is what can kill your engine. And that's why it's important part of the glow plugs replacement process, the cleaning. Many times, unfortunately, people rush and they don't do good cleanup and then their engine fails prematurely. Look at that guy, this giant. This will probably get into the cylinder combustion chamber and do lots of damage. Okay, spray a mix of gasoline with a little bit of diesel 
and go with a regular paintbrush and brush it, scrape it, wash all that grease and dirt, go around the glow plugs, clean it up, get much cleaning job done as you can. I will it will always pay back, always do cleaning and never assemble dirty parts as well. Go all the way to the glow plugs number four and clean there too. And if you cannot reach it, you can use the different brush, but this brush just is working fine as I could imagine. Also, I went with a rag. I didn't wanna blow that grease and moisture all over my engine. Just collected some cleaner with a piece of rag using the needle nose pliers. That's enough for now. And now time for the compressed air. That's cleaning, it's important part. Make sure nothing will get into your eye and blow it out. As you can see, now it's getting clean enough. Probably you can eat from it. Yeah, always do best as you can. Take your time and the result will be guaranteed. As you can see, now it's getting really clean. Probably like never before. And on those delicate, there's a well-covered gasket is a design flow. They always leak because they cannot be tight and rubber hardened up. Here we go, nice and clean. That's what you wanna see, all shiny and clean around the glow plugs. Okay, as you can see, we went all the way to the spark plug number four and clean there as well. Now we need to disconnect the glow plug distributor line. There is a main connector you check the also power, make sure you're getting voltage to the glow plug line. If not, it means it might be it's a problem with your relay or something else. But this is a glow plug video and the next video will show you how to diagnose the glow plug circuit. Okay, undo the battery terminal, disconnect the glow plug hot wire to the distributor line. Like so, put that little nut back and now we need to remove the metal line from the glow plugs. Let's go and loot those nuts. And remember how that line will be installed. It only will go on in one position. So put all little nuts in a container, make sure you won't lose them. Paying attention to details will save you lots of time and in the future you won't get into the unnecessary issues. Okay, here's our line. Just pay attention. Uh, it was fitted and we'll need to put it same way back. Here we go, there's our glow plugs, one more cleanup with the compressed air, now it's even easier to get around, let's make sure we didn't miss anything, and as you can see, it just takes nothing, it's just a few seconds, like 10-15 seconds. Okay, now we need to test the glow plugs, set your multimeter to ohms, and the standard value for the glow plug should be around 1 ohm. Let's check our old one. Now we had an issue and it's only 0 33 ohms. Okay. If you see the OL, it means open circuit, means go plug is broken completely. And you want to see the resistance around 1 ohm. 1.3, 1.2. That's what we want to see. Okay, there is a new glow plug, NGK for Mitsubishi Delica. There's a part number. There's a little description, ceramic glow plugs. You always check the ceramic element, make sure it's not broken as well. They need to be careful with those, they're easy to break. Here we go, our Delica is getting new 
glow plugs. It came in a nice packed boxes. They're just then telling you always start by hand, few threads, and then tie it with a wrench. 10 millimeters, 10, 15, 20 newton meters, but that's where light torque. Okay, 12 millimeters, get the glow plugs loose. One, see, we sprayed the penetrating oil, let it stay overnight, and now it's pretty easy to get them loose right okay number two you can see nice and loose you can finish it with the fingers now glow plug number three same way broken loose Uh, it can be a nightmare if glow plug will break inside the cylinder head then you need to get a different level of work involved to drill it out tap the new thread probably remove the cylinder head to get all those shavings out that's a big job that's why you want to spray and let it sit overnight and never ever guys remove the glow plugs on the hot engine and remember always work on the cold engine here we go now we can go nice and easy and remove the glow plugs by hand and i always recommend you to do one at a time don't remove the four of them at the same time make sure nothing will get inside the engine okay we're starting with number one and we'll leave the rest like that okay we're taking number one glow plugs on the cylinder head now it's nice and loose we can finish it just with our fingers yeah if you have any questions or something is not really clear yeah ask down in the comments below I, uh, I hope everything's pretty good enough okay here's the original glow plug and compare with the new one this one just we removed from the cylinder head you always check the damage if something happened to the ceramic element this new one is way smaller but that's it aftermarket ngk replacement part for this delica we check the catalogs and that's what's recommended and they have a good reviews yeah always compare the parts side by side there's a new glow plug and as i as we removed we always started by hand it's what delicus manufacturer tells us and also doing this job i'm following mitsubishi delica shop repair manual that's really helpful and like so go by hand when it stops then same way we remove the second one go by hand just turn it with your fingers as you can see we just started first one by hand and turn it until it stopped now we're doing a second glow plug and after we have done four of them okay we got the rest three and four okay now we go in tie the glow plug with a ratchet so you can see it's only 15 20 newton meters very light I'll grab the head of the ratchet till it stopped and torque it slightly and it won't get loose okay this is how you want to do it you can see the resist you can feel the resistance just a little bit more and enough you don't want to strip this thread and over tie and do the rest the same way all right guys same cleanup for the glow plugs connector line as the line needs to be reinstalled put a 
nuts back in place. Yeah, I, I will put in the description the time frames where you can check the installation, removal, or tests, or whatever you would like to get back if you need to watch some details. It will be helpful. Okay, now we're installing our power line for the glow plugs. Pretty straightforward. I think uh, tutorial videos, they need to be clear and more complete. Everything you need to know, make sure there's nothing missed because little mistake or missing something which is can be easy shown and make people's life way, way better. Okay, there is a power line. It's what I mentioned earlier before. When you turn the ignition key to the glow plug on position, you make sure you, you are getting the power at that con connector wire. That's uh, on relay side. Okay, now we are tightening those glow plug nuts and securing the distributor line. Tight that. Doesn't need to be over tight, just enough to keep it in place and won't get loose. Connect the power supply line to the glow plugs. Make sure there's no corrosion, it's clean. If needed, just clean up the, with a fine sandpaper or you can use a metal brush. Tie that nut. All electronics they're just a science about the good connections make sure all connections are clean and tight and then electricity can flow the last resistance put a boot back that's uh, pretty much it now we're going to install the intercooler same way as we removed everything and I'm planning to make another video, more tests for the glow plugs, talk a little bit more about that and how you can calculate if the amperage used, the current, uh, how many volts and how many watts your glow plugs are taking for heating up the engine. And it will be an interesting short video which will give you more technical information and might be more details about the glow plugs operation it's a little bit hard to fit everything in a small video yeah connect those uh, electrical connectors for the intercooler motor and uh, make it straight to the point and not go too far okay. and thanks again for watching that far it's 18 minutes already and you're still staying with me i'm glad to do this video and not only helping myself only share with someone who might need it one day if it will help one person oh it will be awesome okay put that uh, negative battery terminal back that clamp and uh, yeah this is a, like we call the moment of truth we'll circle glow plugs you can see the coil showed up and fired up yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, perfect. I will very appreciate it for your support if you go and watch that video or this video or that video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And see you next time.